<laughs> All right, enjoy this evening. No, that's really the pro tip because tomorrow we get a bit breezy. It's kind of breezy all day. And we have the chance for a little bit of weekend snow, weekend snow. Uh, uh, it, my mouth doesn't want to say that word. Here we go, tomorrow 30% chance of it. And then as we head into the weekend, it looks like the chances remain kind of dismal each and every day. That's kind of good news, right? We don't want too much. And it looks like we don't get too much in the way of moisture or energy moving through. So what we wind up seeing is, well, temperatures first taking a dive. We're at 54 here in Spokane, 50 in Coeur d'Alene, or 50 in Deer Park, excuse me, 43 in Coeur d'Alene. And temps still up near 50 out in central Washington. A little bit of cloud cover moves through, but that's about it. What winds up happening is that cloud cover thickens up. By tomorrow morning, you're waking up to some thick clouds. By the middle of the day, you're seeing some of those showers move through and then wind picks up. Somebody messaged me a little bit earlier and said, hey, Jeremy, is that wind going to affect my flight that takes off tomorrow afternoon? No, no, it's not. It's a sideways wind. When you're talking side to side wind, no big impacts on flights, it's those up and down ones that get you. Now, when we look into the mountains, notice it does transition over to snow. And yes, it is snow. That wind that picks up tomorrow blows in some colder air. Wind gusts at 30 to 45 miles per hour. Not quite the realm in which we're talking widespread damage, so that's a good bit of this, right? As we get into Saturday, 20 to 25 mile per hour winds across much of the region, and that's going to keep cooling our temps. So tomorrow morning, we wake up to 42 degrees. Next few days, that's going to be kind of closer to our high temperature. By tomorrow afternoon, we're up near 60 once again here in Spokane and out in central Washington. Mid-50s in North Idaho, not all that bad. In the mountains, we need the snow. So as temps cool, let's look for a little bit of a silver lining. And that silver lining is that if we're talking the chance of a few snowflakes that don't stick or accumulate, that means in the mountains, it's likely we get some accumulating snow both Sunday and Monday. But getting there, well, showers and breezy tomorrow, a chance of a couple of showers on Saturday, then Sunday and Monday, you might see a few snowflakes mixing in that melt as fast as they fall.